presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robin, how you doing, man? Yes, and thank you for taking my call. I wanted to Morning. let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner, primary breadwinner for my family, and if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So That's awesome. thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, well, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week, we go seven hours a day, we go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. You are what you are. Be you are what you are, what you believe you are. Yes, there we go. Humans are powerful magicians. You have the power to make yourself what you are right now, but it's not your reasoning mind that controls your power. It's what you believe. That's right. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 392, Nasdaq's off 119, S&P's off 48. Gold, gold contract up $33.20, trading at 2,025 an ounce. We have silver up 39 cents, $25.62 an ounce, Light sweet crude down three dollars eighty eight cents seventy one dollars seventy eight cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. A ten year note up one point plus three ticks at one fifteen nineteen. The thirty year up a full point plus twenty nine ticks. Remember thirty two ticks is a point, folks. Almost up two points at one thirty one eighteen. And king dollar. King dollar right now is down two hundred and twenty one ticks at one oh one nine thirty. The euro is trading at 110, the yen is at 136, and the British pound is at 124 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want well, to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Well, you had a fast move in a one-way direction out here this morning, this afternoon also. And bottom line, I suspect this is this is... What's seeping into the market right now, folks, is all about the debt ceiling. That's what's going on. So fast and furious, you know, you come down, bottom line, we had a high out there of 4191, and you come down to 86 S&P points, like nothing. Like, boom, see ya. Now, as we did a counter trend bounce up here, this bounce we did, let's see what this bounce was. So, yeah, look at this. This is really dangerous, actually. He did a 0 0.382 bounce from the highs of last night to the lows of today. Um, what you still have is that you still have this. It's not a high volume low at the bottom, but it's still got pretty good volume there. We got volume at the low there, 59,000 contracts. So that probably can get hit again. Let's go to the queues and take a look at the end queues here. Now, this is on the daily because what happens here. You know, as I showed in that update, the bottom line is that this is still pulling back with light volume, man. So this, you know, we're going to have the announcement tomorrow and this thing can pop again. Yeah, so if we look at the NQs, you're going to see the, the biggest bar in the NQs, the first low that was established, that was 31,000 contracts. And then 10 minutes, uh, 20 minutes later, we got 20,000 contracts. And then when we did get that pop here, about an hour and a half ago. That wants to get tested. This this wants to get tested at 13,321. So we're 10 points underneath that right now. That wants to get, you can see, see how the volume expanded there? That wants to get tested also. If we take a look at that, now close that baby, I want this one. Come on, close that, I don't want that, I want this. There we go. So this is getting interesting. So you can see that did a 50% retracement, the NQs. So the NQs are getting stronger than the S&P, which is a flip around, you know. And the NQs dictate where the market goes. So 
We'll see where that shakes out. Now, if we go into the ETF structures and take a look at them, what you're going to see here, the SPY traded down to 407. We're at 411. Now, we're going to probably have around the same amount of volume, but you need more volume than that to really break down. You know, the volume, we're at 80 million today. We'll see whether they get, yeah, it probably will get 95. You know, if it gets more than 95, then you have a, you have a continue, you'll, you can, you probably will have a continuation. So it depends on how much they actually throw in, because they're, they're throwing a lot of volume into the market right now, actually. Because when I did the update, which was only four minutes ago, um, let's see, four minutes ago? No, it was six minutes ago. The, um, the volume, was a lot lighter than that, that's for sure. We take a look at the Qs. What do we have with the Qs right now? The Qs, you're banging out 45. I think we're going into 55. No, 65. So it's 20 million. So this is going to be, this is something we want to really watch because you shouldn't do another 20 million in 45 minutes. Now, if we do, that's saying you're going to have a continuation on the way down. If we don't, if, we, if it's a normal type of sell-off coming into the close, you'll probably end up uh, with about 58 million, about 13 million they can put in an hour pretty easy. We go to the gold contract. Gold contract caught a bit out here. Bottom line, you have the wide price spread. You have the volume behind the move, 220, 230,000 contracts. Um, you're, you're over the consolidation just slightly over the last 10 days. So that puts in place that this can go after the, the highs once again. And remember, the, go, the gold contract, this has been a complex ABC structure on the way up. But it's still an ABC structure on the way up. You took out a B point. You took it out with volume. You, you know, got below the B point again. Now you're coming in. Uh, you're getting above the B point again. You get volume behind the move, all of the above. And then as we go to the dollar, what we're going to see inside the dollar is that the dollar, there she goes, what's happening with the dollar is that it didn't hold price again. And you can see what's intriguing here about the market, about the dollar not holding price is that the market itself, okay, can't hold price. As the dollar, you know, bottom line went from 102, 404, and then went into the negative. Normally when you see something like that, the, the market can turn around pretty fast. Now. There's no doubt the S&P turned around somewhat, but you're still, you know, you're still down. Let's see, we're down. Yeah, you're down. Well, the Nasdaq's down eight tenths of a percent. The indice, the S&P's down one point one, and the Dow Jones is down one percent. So that's not the end of the world. The beginning, though, this is a trader's market, folks. That's the bottom line. It's a little trader's paradise out here. Um, you get a two-way market. Uh, you have wide price spreads, you get fast moves, and uh, bottom line, uh, oil. Oil is getting smoked, as is the, uh, you know, if you go take a look at the, the infrastructure plays, um, oil's going lower, folks. The XLE topped out a long time ago. You know, when we look at the XLE now, I mean, you know, that, that stayed at the highs for quite some time. But bottom line is that, you know, you've, you're giving it up and you're giving it up, you get some expansion. So. The other end of this consolidation is game. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our man, Mr. Battle Chapman. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. 
A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down at 382. Nasdaq's off 117. S&Ps are off 46. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. And in fact, if you are a subscriber of his newsletter, he's going to be doing an outstanding subscriber event for all his subscribers tomorrow afternoon. Afternoon, May 3rd from 4 to 5 30 Eastern Standard Time now if you're not a subscriber it's very easy to be one folks just come to the front of our website at TFNN you're gonna see it right as the featured content you're gonna see the opening call subscriber event with our man Mr. Basil Chapman you're just gonna click that you hit subscribe and you can get the newsletter for $149 for one month $6.95 for six months and $11.95 for a year now what you're going to get ASAP is that you're going to get a great newsletter for a month first off, but you're coming into the workshop for zero, okay? So the bottom line is that, and if the, the newsletter works for you folks, awesome. And most of the time it works for, for them in a big way. If for some reason it doesn't work for you on the 29th day, you can cancel the newsletter. Guess what? You have zero cost. It's a 30 day money back guarantee. You're still going to get a great newsletter for a month. You're going to understand the Chapman wave, and you're going to get a great workshop from Basil uh, come tomorrow afternoon. And if you can't make it live, the way our technology works, folks, you can go 24 hours a day, all month long, and keep going over and over so you really can get to understand how Basil looks at the market. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Well, if ever there was a challenge in this particular market, this is it. Yeah, because, uh, it's a good one. And the I think it's a challenge. It's a really good one. But at the same time, I think it's a challenge also for the Fed because we've spoken about this before. You've got uh, the home builders. You've got uh, stocks within that sector that are doing extremely well. The Fed wants lower inflation. That kind of adds to lower inflation. Yields are sort of at the higher end. That adds to inflation. So this is going to be very interesting. And, and, and the bank sector tells you things are this there's, there's a problem there so it's a very good time for this because what i look at I, i'm actually i'll do this right now so the, the title of it is sectors stocks and the chapman wave techniques to focus on for the coming months nice and uh it's just i think it's it's a good time for this because this is exactly what we need so i've been talking to you about let me just get this chart right here just this is typical of what i, I do I talk about different uh, technical indicators that I've developed over the years. Now, one of the things that I look at is uh, the nine period moving average. And now it must be, I think it's about three weeks now I've been speaking to you about this. I've been saying, 
That looking on the left side is uh, of the uh, page you got. The, in the middle, middle is the weekly, on the left is the daily, on the right is the monthly chart. So I've been talking about this and saying that this nine period moving average is a very powerful instrument that I look at. And as long as it holds over the 14 period moving average, uh, that's a really good sign. And that there was a sharp pullback from the 34,882 high on the 14th of April. And we pulled back quite, quite sharply, but we held this support level. And these are the techniques I, I, I show. Just a very simple from this high that was made back in March at 33,572. You can draw a trend line that goes right to that peak D high of the 14th of April. And it goes to two days ago where we hit 34,257. And then I do a little inside track. It's called the inside track repellent zone. And look how many times the price gets repelled from that level. In fact, I like to do things live to show that this is not a one off thing. Look. We, we just did that in the E-mini. We went right to this peak F, and we held, and we went right into this inside track repellent zone. But the green nine-period moving average is still very important. Also, I like to look for four higher peaks, peak D, and here we've got a doji candle peak D in the 10-minute chart. So this is, it, it's a fractal of human nature. In other words, the patterns that we see in every time frame can be repeated in every time frame. So You know, you know it's amazing, that, Basil, yeah. too, is that on your in the nine period inside the spy here i'll put this up right now this is crazy man inside the spy the number is 41137 right. to keep it you know and we've gone down to 407 folks okay but as basil was speaking it was trading 41137 you can see that's the, the red line if you're looking at it and it's right there I mean, so this is going to get interesting as to close, right? I mean, so this is this is exactly what I was saying that I like to do things in real time to say this is a technique that either you don't know what's going to happen next, so this is the proof of the pudding. So now what we're looking at is we went short the S and I spoke to you about this yesterday. I see we've got a, an alternate count here, G slash A in the Chapman wave. You never get an H. So if there's another new high, I have to consider that's probably going to be a leg B, and that's really bullish. But look, he has that inside track. He has, this is the S&P, the repellent zone. Went to 4186.92, little doji candle. There's always a hint to me to say if there is a turn at that particular level and it extends for a couple of bars, that could be serious. And look, he has your inside track propellant zone. It went right down to it. So using my techniques, uh, if the S&P can close, we've still got 35 or so minutes. If the S&P can close just a little high at 4130, somewhere around 4130, that'll be another technique that I use called the Chapman Wave. In, uh, this is a Chapman Wave Roman candle. And <laughs> what happens in this is if that happens, if any time tomorrow the, for about uh, an hour, if there's a trade for an hour below 4110, there's a real good chance we're gonna test the low of the day and maybe break it. So yeah, we've got Fed Day, there's a whole bunch of things going on. But most importantly, the weekly charts in both the Dow and the S&P are holding well. So these are the things that I want to demonstrate. I've got a bunch of techniques that we're going to talk about that are absolutely applicable, as I just showed you right now in the one minute chart and the 10 minute chart of the futures and the S&P. These are relevant things. But at the same time, I'm looking at the different sectors. What sectors have had a very big move that could pull back, but are still strong. And we want to be buying those. So we raised cash in the, for subscribers to my opening call. We're anticipating this. There's going to be some volatility here in May. We want to be buyers. Uh, we're not afraid to short. We went short yesterday. We can, uh, with the stop says that uh, we should be able to, no matter what happens, we should be able to make a profit. And uh, we'll see if that holds. We, again, the, the price has to tell us what's next. We can't tell the price what's going to happen next. But you can see that the nine period moving average is important. So in the webinar tomorrow, I'll discuss this. Here's, here's a picture of the, the Dow that I showed uh, last week. I said, yeah, look, look how the nine period moving average was so important. The Dow is the big, thick gray line was so important back in February. And now we've gone back up. And it still hasn't crossed negative, but I'm anticipating there's a kind of an M-shaped pattern forming. And if that's correct, it'll take a few days because the, the, the height of the green moving average above the black is so big that you have to really smash to the downside to take it out. So it's a process. So that's what we're looking at. And if we, if we make new, high, new recovery highs, that's something else. But here's the S&P, shows you the same thing. Here's that green line, yes. here's the daily chart. It's held so far. 
It has tested the black line. So all I say is that these are techniques that are applicable. I'm going to teach them tomorrow. At the same time, I'll be going through the charts of the stocks that we have, as well as what we've been looking at. And we're we still long the, the Dow, the uh, Dow. that's the three times long from October. We've got that as a core position. We've been trading around on the upside and the downside. And so it, it's, it's going to be a fun period for May. And I think uh, some the subscribers will have a good time tomorrow night. We'll be looking at all these different and, indexes. And, and folks, it's very easy to come into the, the webinar. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under featured content. You hit that button. You subscribe. You're going to get a great newsletter as well as an awesome webinar. Have a great one, Basil. Have a safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow and the webinar tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. Thank yes, you. Sir. Stay right there, folks. You got my back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. NN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow Industrial is down 350, yet the SP is off uh, 45. So let's go take a look at, uh, you know, Pac West, okay? Because you got a couple of different things happening out here. You got the debt issue that it looks that the market is paying attention to now. And this debt issue always gets intriguing, folks, because what happens is that I remember in 2011, the market didn't pay attention to it till it did pay attention to it. And then forget it, man. You know, so we'll see if that's my speculation is that that's what's looking at today. We'll see, though, if we get follow through. If we go take a look at the couple of the banks, these banks are going south too, man. They, 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 this is the whack-a-mole, there's no doubt about it. They take care of three banks, well, guess what? These other two are on the horizon too, and they have been. Um, look at the volume on this thing, man. 
They, this is Pack West first. You know, this this went south. This went south from the twenty-one dollars, right down to the uh, five dollars and uh, six, yeah, five dollar five dollar area, uh, six dollar area. Right now, you're coming down, and you're actually coming down. It looks like with almost more volume, sixty-seven million versus seventy-six. You're going to do seventy-six million. So now you're going after a high volume low, and you're going after it with volume. You know, this is uh, this is. Let's see where. Commercial banking. Okay, so this is, they do a business in North Carolina, Denver, Colorado, California. Yeah. That's mostly a deposit base. So this thing looks like it's going south. And then um, I believe it's Alliance. That's also going south. Let me look at this for a second. Alliance. Western Alliance, that's it, yeah. Western Alliance Bancroft. So this here, that's down 540 today. The low's seven dollars here though. If this ever goes back to seven dollars, this is gonna be kind of shocking. This is a little bit better off. But you see, when you have a high volume low like this, it's always dangerous, folks. That's that's the problem, man. You know, this went this went down to the seven dollars. And then you did a counter trend balance all the way up to 40 bucks. Now you're back into these lower levels. Put this on. Yeah, that's a problem. These are, are going to get squeezed. We go, back, we go over to uh, JP Morgan, because JP Morgan, bottom line is that that's going to be the new First Republic. And that's giving up everything they gained yesterday. And JP Morgan has a couple of big gaps. I suspect these gaps are going to get filled. The bigger, the bigger, the bigger issue uh, inside of the banks is that, and this is where I suspect, this is why the, the First Republic definitely has other deals inside, well, I can't say definitely because I don't know. Um, my take would be, that there's other derivatives that are inside of there that could have affected other banks. That's what I suspect the key is, that when you actually look at it. If we take a look at the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness and point-wise out here, you have Johnson & Johnson, eight positive points, Merck, seven, Big Mac, three. That's it. Taken away from it, Goldman, minus 48, Chevron, minus 46, American Express, minus 45. Let's go look at Goldman and see where Goldman's at. The thing that is pretty wild is that, so Goldman, that's pulling back with light volume. It's no big deal. But Goldman does have a high volume low. So this thing, man, every, yeah, this is a high volume low, man. I mean, Goldman sticks out like a sore thumb. Look at that thing. And that's laying out at uh, 302. And we're at 332 right now. So there's more problems out here, man. That's the thing that, that, with the, with the floating now, folks, inside of the FDIC insurance, is that they're thinking of, of doing a business insurance that has more than $250,000 guaranteed, which, you know, we'll see, you know, whether they're going to do that or not. Because businesses, no doubt, you know, you get $250,000 going in and out of your account like nothing, okay? Now, the problem, this is what the problem is, right? The problem is that, as you can see, you have bankers that uh, they know what they're doing, but when the greed gets in there, meaning that you push, you push, you push. So if you can get away with it, the amount of money you make is phenomenal. If you lose, well, you lose. But they, they know what they're doing, man. That's the bottom line. You know, they hope to get away with it. If they don't get away with it, that's it. They lose. They don't lose anything personally. They lose, you know, what the gamble was. And they're, they're, they're gambling. That's the bottom. Not all of them. A lot of them, though. So the problem with making the insurance higher is that what you'll end up seeing is that the bottom line is that they'll start gambling more. And, and the banks that are in the worst shape will actually, you know, pay, what they'll, what they'll do is they'll pay higher interest rates 
for the deposits, and then that's going to be a problem because the fact of the matter is they can, they can go basically BK doing it that way. You know, that they're, and, and what, what ends up happening is that the other banks are saying, okay, what am I going to do now, right? You know what I mean? That's, that's where this comes into play. Do I get a call, Al? I'm sorry, I can't. I just can't see it. One second. Who's on the phone? Who do I have? Hello? Carlos from Texas, Tom. How are you? Uh, uh, who am I speaking to? Carlos. Carlos from Texas. Carlos, Texas. how you doing, brother? Very well, Tom. Uh, I'm happy to hear you. And uh, after f almost five years, I'm back. Yes. Uh, You're alive and kicking, like, man. Uh, a long time. Yes, I always listen to your show, but I've definitely been very, very busy. My life changed a lot, and I'm here. I'm still here. And, Thank you, uh, God. I'm that very, is I'm so good, Carlos. Very well, and I'm so sorry about David. I know. Unreal, huh? Unreal. That's yes. like yes. crazy. Really crazy. Um, I'm not going to take more of your time, but I want to um, ask you about um, if you know anything about this legislation um, that is has been done uh, and for mining companies in Mexico. I don't know if you're familiar with it, and, and they're trying to legislate uh, because they believe that uh, mines uh, are only technically by uh, people from outside of Mexico. Okay, and they uh, they're passing on new legislation and the, I have a list of different companies, Eagle Mines, American Silver, First Majestic, and this is a list I got from uh, a friend I have in the Congress, and they're definitely very upset about all these um, mining uh, that has been done in Mexico, and Mexico is actually not really getting much of that mining, apparently, and they want to stop that. It's being done as we speak. I don't know if you're familiar with it. No, you stay right there. This is great impact. info because Mexico, folks, okay, is one of the best, has been one of the best mining districts in the world. And But what Carlos is saying is that is the new administration, and I believe what he's saying is that they're saying that, you know, the mining companies are basically taking more out than the new government uh, wants. And on top of that, the... the uh, well, he'll, we'll, we'll let him uh, walk us through. It's so good to hear you, Carlos. You stay right there. We'll come right back, folks. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. 
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow's down 370, Nasdaq's off 128, S&Ps are off 48. We're talking with our man Carlos from Texas, and we're talking about some new legislation in Mexico that can be a real problem for these gold companies. You know what's so intriguing, Carlos? I was really worried, wondering what the heck was wrong with First Majestic, okay? Because this is First Majestic Silver, folks, okay? Yeah. And, you know, it's always been a great stock. Um, and the bottom line is that it can't get any traction. And, you know, and I was just looking at this, and, you know, the bottom line is that, you know, revenue, I mean, they take in $576 million a year, but $486 million of that is out of Mexico. I mean, there isn't as many of them, because Mexico... Yeah you know, has been a great jurisdiction. So Carlos, let, let me ask you this. So it, there's a new administration in Mexico, right? Is that correct? Yes, it's, it's almost over, it's one more year, but it seems like the, most of the population is very happy with it. Okay. It's been, a, a, let's say, a, a very, um, very people's uh, legis uh, legislation-oriented um, uh, system right now. Yep. So this is this is what it is, uh, Tom. There's a perception that Canadian, English, American, yep. and uh, some uh, companies from Europe, they're not paying the fair share for exploding gold, silver, and copper in Mexico. Because right. Because it seems like copper is a very good, um, um, uh, like, uh, if you explode um, um, gold, you get uh, copper somehow. And... Um, and the thing is, they're, they're not paying the communities. And that's what the, the people is really uh, um, like asking the government to do something. So on the 29th of April, they passed the law. Yes. There's already a law. The uh, parliament, actually, the, the Congress passed the law, and it has to be signed by the president. And uh, it's going to hit in their profits to all these companies. Yes. And uh, you, you, like you said, uh, you may wonder why, but... Many Canadian companies are going to get hit really strong because they have a lot of concessions on the previous administrations, and they actually were in heaven. And it seems like it's not going to be any more like that. No, I, no, listen, I can see that. I mean, across the world, when you actually look at how civilization has been, you know, where we are, like from where we were to where we are, there's no doubt that the commodity business has always been a dirty business, right? I mean, that, that's, that's a reality. You know, the, 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 you have companies that come into other countries, you know, they, they make sweetheart deals. You only have to pay so many people off. I'm not just talking to Mexico, I'm talking everywhere. And, you know, the, the people that actually have, that own that get nothing, uh, next to nothing. Um, you know, it's interesting yeah. about this, this conversation, Carlo and folks, is if you remember folks, okay, depending on how long you've been in the metal business, when we were coming up to the highs um, in 2011, our own House of Representatives and Senate were doing the exact same thing or wanted to do the exact same thing in Nevada. <laughs> um, you know, and yeah. in this particular case, it got quashed. But I get, I get, I get the deal about, you know, the, uh, the deal in a second. I guess the, I guess the really... Well, this is a good heads up for us because 
Now I am going to go through these like big time. And you know what's so crazy about this is that I don't know if you've seen me do the program with one of my real estate partners, yes. Bestford, <laughs> and he has AG. And just this morning he says, hey, man, why isn't that AG doing anything? <laughs> so I can't wait to get off right now and basically let him know. Yes, because um, and, and Routers has Reuters has a lot of information, a, very, a lot of American uh, newspapers. Online, they're being uh, all over because uh, there's uh, right now an ongoing situation where they're using fentanyl as an excuse to start kind of using troops in Mexico. And people are very upset right now about it. So they're calling about invading Mexico, and hopefully it doesn't happen because we are very good neighbors and we can still be good neighbors. But uh, definitely, it's just it's a situation that I hope doesn't get worse because uh, we all have to take a little bit of responsibility and as far as the uh, the, uh, the the mining companies they have to pay their fair ch share but we have to respect the uh, the contract and that's what's going to be the big impact at home they're not going to give concessions for a longer time before they give them for 50 60s 100 years they're no longer is going to be like that yeah, no, I can see that. That's, I mean, because that's insane anyway. Any businessman in their right mind. I mean, if you and I were in business together, we would love to get a 50 or 100 year, you know, contract, right? But if you're on the other side of that, yeah. who has ever given that on the other side of that? You, you have no idea how much something is worth in 15, 100 years. There's no way, right? I mean, yeah. that, that doesn't even make any sense. It really doesn't. Yeah. You know, and well, Tom, Tom, that's the information I want to provide. I'm very happy to hear you guys, and I, I miss the Dan, I miss the uh, the, the guys, uh, the, the girls, and uh, I, I really appreciate the, the, the good program that you have and the good uh, sound that you have. I, I love the program of your son. I had the opportunity to listen to him and all the, go the hosts that uh, are in your program. And I really appreciate all the good work you do. Well, we appreciate you. So, Thank hey, you. so tell me, tell me, like, how would you make it back? Like, you know, is it little by little and you're feeling better and better? Tell me. Oh, yes, Tom. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm so much better. Uh, unfortunately, when I got COVID, uh, there were side, uh, um, side, uh, they call it uh, side effects that end up yeah. taking a toll on my body. But I'm, I'm doing very well. Strong very well. like and boom. And I love it, Carlos. I'm just happy. Listen. I'm just, I remember the white light and uh, Good. guys uh, sent to, uh, to me, and I appreciate it. And I'm we appreciate you. It's so good. It's so good to hear from you, man. We are all the Tigers and Tigers. They're going to be so happy to hear that name and hear that voice. I guarantee you, where do you see how many emails I get I tonight, Carlos? It's freaking awesome. I love you guys. We love you, but man. I, 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 when I heard about the uh, this uh, new laws that we're passing, I said, you know what, Tom needs to know in case he doesn't know because this is very important for the It support. is very important, and I really appreciate it. See, this is what the Tiger Network does, folks, okay? Um, this is a this is a huge deal, man. I mean, you know, in some of these stocks, it won't be maybe a huge deal for the, until they get the contract, you know, but it's a huge deal because it's also a deal that it would mean that, you know, that Nevada, you want stocks that are in Nevada, or you want stocks that are in Mexico that yeah. are owned, that are Mexican companies, okay, which there are. That, that's, they're, they're, there's listed companies that basically are headquartered in Mexico also, you know what I mean? So Yeah, I, I remember when, when you talk about the Gold Report, New Moon, First Majestic, and, the, uh, and some uh, um, um, Companies are in, in uh, Zacatecas, which is a, a very productive state of uh, gold. Yes. But the uh, paradox is Zacatecas is a state that sends more undocumented uh, workers to the United States because they don't have any work over there. So it's a very rich state, but unfortunately, there's no work. Bummer. It doesn't make yeah. sense. So Bummer. they're trying to do something about it. Nice. Okay, pal. We well, love you, thank Carlos. You so much. Thanks Take so care. much, man. Thank you for everything. Thank Good, you, man. Goodbye. Amazing. You. Absolutely amazing. Gotta love it, folks. Dow, Dow and just is down 380. NASDAQ off 130. S&P's off 49. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial's down 358. NASDAQ's off 122. S&P's are off 46. That was a great call, folks. And uh, bottom line is that, uh, just to recap that call, uh, the, the the couple of biggest parts out of that call are that the, what I get out of it is that the president hasn't signed the legislation yet, but it's going to get signed. And it has to do with the aspect of how long these contracts actually are, you know. So what's going to be really intriguing about that is this, is that Mexico is considered one of the best mining jurisdictions in the world. And that's going to, that's going to change um, with this, you know, bottom line, People that don't want a piece of it, can't blame them, man. They're not even close. So, you know, the, the jurisdiction, yeah, so those, the, it, it is what it is. And, and I'll just show you. This is, so look at the difference. When you look at, this is, this is revenue coming, you know, out. And this has always been a great stock, but all of a sudden it's like, hey, man, what's going on? Why can't that get any, see, you're at lows, man. And that's what's going on. So I am going to be busy Thank you, Carlos, after, after, as soon as I get off this program today, man. This isn't, you know, because I can run a scan. I'll run a scan as to revenue coming out of Mexico. And you can see this one right here. You know, their whole business is out of Mexico. 486 million versus 130 million in the United States. And I want to look at this because I can't figure out why Pan American Silver is the same deal. Well, let me look at this. Yep. 
Pan American Silver, look at this, 459 million. Well, they got Peru, which is 610 too. There, there's there's going to be big numbers out here. EXK, silver, you know, Mexico is the silver capital of the world. Of the world. You know, Nevada's gold. Um, oh, look at this, EXK is all Mexico. Let me see this. So so now, what the, what the work's going to be now, is the EXK is all right. But that, that they must have a longer lease. That's what's going on. So now you got to dig into the, you know, basically the numbers and the, the filings to see how long those leases are. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out. <coughs> Excuse me. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks.